Chapman here. I thought I would make my very first tutorial video. So I'm sure there's a million of these out there, but I thought I would do it myself. Um, anyway, we're going to look at Tinkercad today. Okay, I have taught most of my students how to get into this and how to use it and how to play around with it. Uh, but I thought I'd make a little video. So and I thought I would see if it would actually record as I do it. So this is kind of a new deal for me. We'll see how it works. I'm using a new program called Loom. Um, kind of looks like this is an icon up here in the, in the top right. Um, I don't have a webcam right now. So once I get that, then we can get back on too. Um, and hopefully I won't have to use a Bluetooth headphone to actually be able to hear or be able to talk. So here we go. Uh, first thing we're going to do is look at all these things up here. Okay. So this is sign in. We've got teach, learn, blog, and gallery. So any of those will take you to different uh, pages. The gallery is kind of neat. It just shows everything that people created. Uh, the blog, I have never played this. Learn and teach. These are kind of, uh, if you're a teacher, you would use this one. If you're a student, you would want to learn. And it has lots of cool tutorials in here to kind of teach you how to do this stuff. Okay. Uh, search also, I believe you just search for things within the program. Um, the cool thing about Tinkercad is it's made by Autodesk, the premier CAD company. CAD uh, represents uh, is actually computer assisted drafting. Okay, so anything design oriented, engineering stuff, Autodesk is kind of the premier company that made that. And they made this Tinkercad, this program free for children to learn how to use CAD, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, the other thing that's cool about this too is that whatever you make in here, you can actually 3D print if you have a 3D printer. So uh, we'll get into that as well in further videos, but today I thought I would just make a very simple design. Um, and I thought you could follow along if you want. Uh, if you want to just watch, that's totally cool too. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, okay? And I'm signing in um, mostly because I wanna make sure everyone knows how to sign in, okay? Uh, the reason that I wanna do this is in the past, we've had students join our class, which is pretty cool because this allows teachers to set up everything for the students and then we can get into their accounts and like you know if they lose something we can always get in there however they just added sign in with google and that's what we're going to do now okay so from now on we'll just sign in with google it's just easier and i'm going to click on my account right here nick.chapman okay and we are going in all right here we go you'll notice i have a few designs here this is called my um basically my dashboard here. Um, and over here on the left, just to, before we even do a design, I thought I would show you over here on the left, we got circuits, you can actually use circuit design, um, like Arduino type stuff. Um, this code block thing is new and I really haven't played with it much. Basically it's using code to design. And here are the lessons um, that you can actually do. That's not the same thing up here with learn, uh, but you can actually do lessons in Tinkercad as well. It'll teach you how to do some stuff. Uh, but I thought I would just show you guys how to do some stuff. So we're going to create a design. So right here, create new design, click. And it should open up a new design. All right. So today, like I said, we're going to make a very basic design. We're going to make a glass. And actually, the glass is sitting right here in front of me. However, um, since I don't have that webcam, I can't show it to you. But you have to imagine I have a glass sitting right in front of me. Um, I've measured it out already. Okay. And in here, each of these little tiny squares is a millimeter, okay? What that means is that 10 millimeters is a centimeter, okay? So you gotta think in terms of um, metric. We're not using inches here, okay? So basically, uh, what we wanna do first, the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and click down here on the snap grid and we're gonna turn it off. What this does is basically it moves, anytime you move an object, it's going to move it by one millimeter or 0.1 millimeter. So every time I move an object, it's basically going to move it one square. Okay. The reason I want to turn it off is because when I move things, it'll move things more smoothly. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Um, this is my work plane and here are all the shapes that I've got over here to work with. Okay. Um, if you click on this, it will actually give you a bunch of other shapes and they keep adding stuff all the time. So you can even go in here, you can make a dinosaur and I've had students make the dinosaur. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Um, but again, completely unnecessary, just mostly fun. Um, 
but we're going to actually build this glass. Okay, so I have a glass here, um, and we always start with whatever shape is best. Okay, so looking at a glass, and you can think in your mind what a glass looks like, it's really a cylindrical shape. So I'm going to start with a cylinder. I'm going to move it out here. Okay, and all you got to do is click on the shape and put it right there. Awesome. All right, we got our shape. Okay, now this shape right now is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Okay. Now I know that my glass, so 20 millimeters, that's what that means is two centimeters. Okay. So actually two centimeters. Um, my glass is about five centimeters by five centimeters. So what I want to do is change this to 50 and then change this value to 50. Now I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm going to control Z is undo, by the way. There's also an undo button up here. Okay, so it's control Z. But to do that, you actually click on this little white corner down here and that your dimensions show up. And if I want to change those dimensions, see they kind of go away. But if you click on that box, then you can change these values in here. So I'm going to type this 50, enter. Okay, and I might need to move over here. By the way, to move around, um, you click on the, the roller, roller, and then you can just pan, okay? You can also click right click and hold it down and you can rotate it's another way. But anyway, let's change this to 50. All right, now we have the base of our glass, okay? I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. All right, now you'll notice that a glass looking like that, that looks more like a hockey puck. Doesn't really look like a glass, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we need to put in height, okay? So if these were five centimeters, right? The diameter is five centimeters of this circle, okay? The height is going to be about, let's see, if that's five, 10, let's go with 100. Let's see what that looks like. And we can zoom out. By the way, to zoom out, you just roll the roller so you can zoom in zoom out okay and then what i want to do now something that's interesting about this glass and you guys can't really see it okay but this glass actually is not circular around it's kind of got a 10 sides so seeing how this is already kind of you've got sides it's not very smooth okay if i wanted to smooth that out i would just go over here on the side where it says sides and i would drag this all the way up to 64 sides so now if you see, if you actually went in really far, you would actually see that there are still sides, but there's just so many of them that it looks more rounded, okay? Now, in my case of this glass, it actually has 10 sides, okay? I counted them, but the least number we can do is 12 in this program, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just leave it at 12, okay? Now, as we all know, we would like to pour some liquid into our glass. Well, if you poured liquid into this glass right now, it would just run over the sides, right? There's no hole, okay? And what we're going to do right now is actually learn how to make a hole. Making a hole is the hardest thing to do in Tinkercad, and it's that thing that I keep having to walk around and tell students how to do. So if you learn it one time, you will be good forever, good to go, okay? So here we go. To make a hole, what we're going to do is basically what we're going to do is copy this shape, okay? And we're going to cut a hole out of this shape, okay? So to copy and paste, there's two ways to do it, okay? You can click on the buttons up here, right here on the top left. There's a copy button and a paste button, okay? But you can also learn the commands, which you should because it's so much faster. The command for copy is control C and paste is control V, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and control C, control V this guy, control C, control V, okay? And I'm gonna make this shape Watch this, okay? Over here, you've got an option to make it into a hole, okay? And we are going to click on the hole. And now you see it's a transparent shape. Basically what that is, is it is a shape, it is there, but it is a hole. And this is the empty space that we're gonna put into this shape, okay? Now, before we do that, if you recognize that we just copied this shape, it is the exact size of this shape. So if I were to move this shape onto this shape and cut it, it would cut the entire shape, okay? Because they're the same size. So what I wanna do first is I wanna make this shape a tiny bit smaller so that I have basically my 
the edges of my glass that are stay intact. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. This is a transparent. This is a hole. Okay, I'm going to click here and I'm going to make this 45. And I'm just kind of making this up, honestly, 45 and 45. That actually might be a little too small. All right, undo, control Z, control Z. Let's go with just 48. So it's really close to that 50. Okay, now I have two options. Okay, I can move it into this shape with my mouse by clicking and dragging it in there. Sometimes that gets a little messy though, okay, as it's hard to control. What I like to do is I like to move it into where I want it and then use my arrow keys to kind of move it where it needs to go. Now, let's take a look a little closer at this, okay? Recognize that this whole shape needs to be in the middle of this shape. Earlier, we turned the snap grid off. If I were to have it on and I use my arrow keys to move, it would move it in big jumps, okay? Which is fine, but it's hard when you're trying to get it absolutely perfect in the center. So we turn that off so that we can just very carefully use our arrow keys to move this guy into place. All right, now, now it's pretty centered. If I look around, it looks pretty good. Okay, now before we cut our hole, learn how to cut, what we're gonna do is recognize that, hey, if I were to cut this right now, there'd be a hole in the bottom of my glass. Okay, we can even go take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Look, see how that hole is coming through? So if you don't want a glass with a bottom with a hole in it because then the juice or whatever will just go everywhere. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this whole piece go up a bit. And to make it go up, this is another common question. You're gonna use this little cone. It's a little black cone that's on top. And I'm gonna click and drag it up, okay? And basically what that's gonna do is give me the base of my cut. So if I go back down here to the base, it is solid now, see? Because it is not being cut out, okay? All right, now here's the trickiest part. And it's actually not very tricky, but I get this millions of times every day. How do I cut a hole? All right. So we got our whole shape and we got this shape. Now remember the hole, when we combine these, the hole is gonna take any piece that it's holding on to, that it's connected to, and it's gonna make it invisible, okay? So what I wanna do is group these two shapes. I have this shape, this is all the shape, and I have this shape that's the hole, okay? And to group, we're just gonna click up here and drag a little red box, okay? The other option, if you only have these shapes, you could do Control A, which is select all. Okay, and it would select all those shapes. Okay, but I'm just gonna use the box. Okay, and I'm gonna make a little box around it. And when I let go, they are gonna click and drag and then let go. And then what I'm gonna do is click on this group button up here. Now there's also a command, which is control G. Personally, I just like to click the button. It's up to you guys. Okay, but once you've got two things selected like that, this becomes available. Okay, and you can group things. All right, so when I click group, I'm gonna click it now. Whoa, check that out. It is now a hole and you can actually look inside your glass. Okay, and awesome. Now, right now my glass is orange. Okay, my glass actually is not orange. The real cup is actually um, clear. Okay, and I can actually use that color. So I can click over here where it's orange and we can change colors of objects by clicking on this here. And you can actually change all these colors. You can do multicolor, you can have all different colors. Okay. Um, but what we're going to do is make it transparent because it is, it is glass. And there you go. And there's my glass. Okay. And we have a nice glass that we can take a nice sip out of. All right. So anyway, make sure that you always give your project a name by clicking up here in the left where it says Smashing Borwo. Okay. We'll always give a nonsense name. And so you got to click on it and then you can just change it. So I'm going to change it to glass. And I'm going to give it a date, 329. Awesome. All right. And I'll put the year too. Why not? Okay. And then when I push enter, it will actually save the name. The coolest thing about Tinkercad, guys, is it saves automatically. It's also in your browser. There's no downloads necessary. That's what's really cool about it. Okay. So if I am done, okay, remember it saves automatically. Okay. You just have to click on the Tinkercad logo and I'll take you back to your dashboard. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.
and I hope you have a pleasant day.